Hi Brownies, today we're going to work on your Bugs Badge. And this is brought to you by Sylvia the Silkworm. So the Brownie Bugs Badge. This badge will help you discover the amazing world of insects. The steps are, one, to make a bug poster, two, to do a bug craft, three, to watch bugs in action, four, to explore bug homes, and five, to take a bug field trip. Bugs or insects? Are insects bugs? Are bugs insects? Most of us think of bug as just another way to say insect. And for this badge, the word bugs will mean all insects. But to scientists who study insects, bugs are only one group in, the, in a very large insect family. And this insect family has five large groups in it. The beetles, ants, bees, wasps, butterflies, and moths, another group of the flies, and the true bugs, which are cicadas and water beetles and a bunch of other, other uh, true bugs. How bugs help us? <clears throat> bugs pollinate plants and crops and we depend on them for our food. Bugs are an important food source for other animals too. And there are people that are uh, trying to grow a lot of insects as a possible source of food for us, for humans as well. And bugs recycle waste. They also provide nitrogen fertilizer for our solar soil. When they die, their bodies are full of nitrogen and really can help enrich the soil. Oops. See. Entomology is the study of insects. So an entomologist is a scientist who studies insects. There are bugs everywhere. We share the earth with over a million kinds of insects. There are about 30,000 types of insects in Washington and Idaho alone. So some fun facts about bugs. Cockroaches can live three weeks without their heads. And they were on the earth 80 million years before dinosaurs. Did you know that honeybees have hair on their eyes? And they have to fly over 40,000 miles to get enough nectar to make one pound of honey. Butterflies can taste with their feet. And some male spiders will strum the cobwebs that they build just like a guitar to attract mates. It's important to know that very few bugs are really dangerous to people. For every 10 kinds or species of insects, nine out of these 10 would not hurt you. Okay, so step one, we're gonna make a bug poster. Have an adult help you with, on the internet with these. Um, and you can choose, I've got a number of links here. You can choose to learn about bugs using the insect information links here. You can um, then find photos and descriptions of the bug that you want to use for your poster. Or you can read a book about insects if you have available some scientific or, or technical references about insects. You can find it at the library or borrow one from a friend. That's a, that's a very good source to get information about insects. You can also watch one of the insect videos that are on this site um, through Netflix. Okay, now that you've got all this information about bugs and where they live and what they do and how they're good for us, you can make a bug poster. It doesn't have to look just like this. Um, I like this one because it answers or asks you to look at some very special things about your bug, like does it have wings, does it have antenna that stick up, is its body hard or soft, where does it live, and then you get to draw a picture of your bug. Okay, so step two, we're going to do a bug craft. So you're going to make a bug of your own, and there's so many ways you can do this. Somebody here used a pine cone. Somebody else here drew an outline of their hands, 
as the wings for a ladybug. Uh, somebody else here used a, a uh, it looks like a, a plastic spoon, and they use bubble wrap for the leaves, for a fly or a bee or something. So you, there's lots of things you can do. We've got um, over here, there are sticks and clothespins that a bunch of um, jewels and odds and ends pipe cleaners were stuck on. So there's no lack of ways that you can create your own cool bugs. More ideas can be found here as well. The other thing you could do for a bug craft is, is make an origami bee. I've given the instructions here. Um, and this you can print and cut out and color as you wish and use that for your bee. So we're going to watch bugs in act action and look at this little ant and that huge drop of water. Ants are amazing. If you get a chance to go watch ants for watch them in a group, watch um, how they move things, big pieces of leaves and things that are lots bigger than them. It's pretty amazing. So to watch bugs in action, you could choose one of the following. Find three bugs around your home or yard and figure out what kinds of bugs they are, draw a picture and describe what you see. That is where they, what are they doing, what are they doing and um, what their surroundings look like, what their home looks like. The other thing you can do is make a bug house from a jar or box. And this is nice because you can watch the, the insect in um, contained in a container. So you can make a bug house out of a jar. Grasshoppers, ladybugs, even a fly can be fun to watch. Better not to use a butterfly or a moth because their wings are really delicate. And as they're trying to fly around and get out, you could, they could be injured. Always check with an adult before you catch bugs to make sure your bugs don't bite. And this is a little praying mantis. Actually, it's kind of big that I found on my porch one day. So you could also make a, a, you can make a bug house out of a glass jar. Use a pint or, or quart glass jar with a lid poke holes in it and get some help with that if you're using a metal lid. Um, and then, or you can use um, plastic wrap held down with a rubber band for this. You poke a few tiny breathing holes at the top, put grass, twigs, and stuff from where you found your bugs, and just add a couple drops of water. Add your bugs very gently to the jar and then cover it. And after you've watched them for carefully for, um, after you watch them for an hour, carefully release them back to where you found them. What did you learn about your bug that surprised you? Did you expect it? Was it exploring its space? Did it eat anything while it was in there? Or did you just see it do something that you really didn't know your bug could do? The other thing you can make a bug, bo bug house out of is a box. They've done a, used a shoe box here. You could use any box that you can easily remove or cut away a window. Um, so they just cut away a window and taped or glued plastic wrap to the long side. And then they, they poked holes on both sides of the ends, put the lid um, and filled it with materials for the, for the bug from there around where they live. Add the bugs, watch them for an hour or so, and Again, did anything that you saw your bug do surprise you? Can you describe what they were doing? Were they um, uncertain about their environment? Did they just stay maybe in one corner? So think about or look at what, what your bugs did that might have surprised you a bit. Okay, so bugs in action are really fun. And I went around my house and I said, oh, Hey, there's got to be some bugs around here. I found more bugs than I could possibly put on this in the slide deck. So here's my techno bee that I found on my win on my window.
Okay, let's see what's next. I found another bug. Or actually, I was looking out at, um, at the hummingbird feeder and there are all these hornets and wasps. And I, I was, when I looked closer, I was really surprised to see them do this. They were wrestling with each other, competing for the, the nectar. And last but not least is the praying mantis and his attempt to get up this mountain. Uh-oh. Okay. So step four is that we're going to explore some bug homes. And as you probably know, caterpillars need to stay snug in, a, in their cocoon while they grow into a butterfly or, or moth. Draw what you think a caterpillar might look like when it's first in its cocoon and right before it gets ready to come out as a butterfly or moth. Or, you can make a model of a bug's home, like a beehive or an anthill. Use any kind of craft supplies, like maybe um, clay or paper, cardboard. Each day, the other thing you can do is each day for a week, watch a spider on its web. Even though spiders are not insects, they often live in the same places to trap insects for dinner. So move very quietly if you find a spider on a, on a web. Try not to disturb it and just watch. And then draw a picture and write a little bit down every day about what you see for that week. And here I'm going to show you a spider that I saw that had caught a, a fly. See if you can see the fly and what he's doing, kind of wrapping it up. Okay, so step five is take a virtual bug field trip. And you may not be able to get out and go hiking um, right now, maybe in the future, or you may not be able to go to a farm um, to talk to farmers about bugs, but there's an excellent uh, video called Farming is Magic with Beneficial Insects. And this farmer does not use any kinds of chemicals or pesticides to control his the bad insects that are eating his crop. He only uses beneficial insects that fight off the bad enemy, the insect enemies on his farm. So this is really excellent to, to watch somebody and how they don't need to destroy all the insects just to get rid of the ones that they don't want. There's another website, 10 Interesting Insects. And then the third option is to see how many, count how many kinds of bugs you can find in your yard. Just count the different kinds and use um, a magnifying glass if you have it. Look on the ground, look up in branches, um, look under leaves. See if you can identify them from what you've learned. So brownies, your leadership journey, as you know, helps you think globally. There's a big world out there. One of the things you can do is find out why insects around the world are dying. We're losing them and what you can do to help. Uh, another thing you can do is ask a Girl Scout to help you understand a little bit more about the other kinds of butterflies and bugs in other parts of the world, not just where we live. And to do a craft to, um, for one of these insects that we don't normally see in our country. 
So brownies think globally. Scientists tell us that we are in danger of losing over a million plant and animal species forever due to climate change and the increase in, in temperature. At least half of these million plants and animal species are insects. 500,000, half are insects, that's a lot. And we depend on insects in so many ways, but there are things that we can do to help. How we can help bugs. We can help save insect habitat by using land in ways that, that protects insect habitat as well as serving the purpose of generating food and uh, serve our needs as well. So there's ways that we can work together with insects and their habitat to get what we want and also to um, support them and, and help them survive. The other thing you can do, we, I just talked about this with the organic farmer, uh, avoid using chemicals to kill insects that we don't want because they also kill those that we really need. And third, reduce your carbon footprint as much as possible. Um, recycle, reuse, try to minimize um, your carbon footprint prevent global warming that also destroys uh, insect habitat. Learn and share with others about the importance of insects and how to protect them. I hope you've experienced today that when you take the time to look at the small, beautiful communities that we don't see every day, we don't take the time to look at every day, how, what a diverse and beautiful world that our smaller insect friends provide to us. Now that you've earned this badge, and here is our ant friend with the GSEWNI brownie bugs badge for you. <clears throat> you could give service by sharing the ways that insects are important and how to protect them. Maybe put up your poster at home to tell your family and friends about what you've learned, showing daisies how to make a bug craft. And then finally, what are you inspired to do? What do you want to do after learning about insects and what they need, how important they are to us? Is there any other things that you would like to know about insects in the world around, around their world? Thank you, uh, thank you Brownies. <laughs> Uh, I hope you've had a good uh, Bugs Badge experience. Bye-bye.